In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Coming together as God's family, with confidence, let us ask our Father's forgiveness, for He is full of mercy and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us with your Father, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, this on earth, peace to people of good you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who in the world have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, live our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father, Let us pray. O oh God, who looking on the lowliness of the Blessed Virgin Mary, raised her to this grace that your only begotten Son was born of her according to the flesh, and that she was crowned this day with surpassing glory. Grant through her purse that, say, by the mystery of your redemption, we may merit to be exalted by you on high. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. O 
A reading from the first book of Chronicles. David assembled all Israel in Jerusalem to bring the ark of the Lord to the place which he had prepared for it. David also called together the sons of Aaron and the Levites. The Levites bore the ark of God on their shoulders with poles, as Moses has ordained according to the word of the Lord. David commanded the chiefs of the Levites to appoint their kinsmen as chanters to play on musical instruments, harps, lyres, and cymbals, to make a loud sound of rejoicing. They brought in the ark of God and set it within the tent which David had pitched for it. Then they offered up burnt offerings and peace offerings to God. When David had finished offering up the burnt offerings and peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, when that which is mortal clothes itself with immortality, then the word that is written shall come about. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O death, is your victory? Where, O death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is in the law. But thanks be to God who gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God.
apostles sing praise. Prophets and martyrs give glory for your majesty. Praise the Spirit, praise the Son. The Lord be with you. A, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. While Jesus was speaking, a, a woman from the crowd called out and said to him, Blessed is the womb that carried you and the breasts at which you nursed. He replied, Rather blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. The Gospel of the Lord. There is a story about a woman, a lady, who has a great devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Huh? So one day, he came to church, and after entering the church, she went straight in front of the statue of the Blessed Virgin Mary, kneeled, kneeled down, and pray. And after a while, she heard a voice. The voice said, Hello, Elizabeth, this is Jesus. So she looked around. Nobody was there. So she continued praying. And after a while, here comes the voice again. Hello, Elizabeth. This is Jesus. So he looked around again. Nobody was there. So she continued praying, and for the third time, she heard the voice again. Hello, Elizabeth. This is Jesus. And then he turned around. She stood and said, Will you please stop talking? Can't you see I'm talking to your mother? <laughs> On November 1, 1950, Pope Pius XII gave us the apostolic letter, Munisentissimus Deus. Munificentissimus Deus. What is the meaning of that? That means that the most bountiful God and defined for us the dogma of the assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Meaning that after the Blessed Virgin Mary finished her earthly life, she was taken body and soul into heaven without her body undergoing corruption or decay. It, this is a singular privilege that has been given to the mother of God, to our mother, that unlike us, she didn't suffer decay or corruption in her earthly body, but taken into heaven, through the merits of her son, Jesus. If, for example, we look at the gospel, there are four 
there are only four occasions that we hear the Blessed Virgin Mary speak. First was at the Annunciation. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Second was at the Presentation. Why have you done this to us? Didn't you know that your father and me are worried? And then, with her cousin Elizabeth, when she visited, she proclaimed the Magnificat. And then the fourth time was at the wedding at, in Cana. Right? And if we look at those words that Mary has spoken at the wedding of in the at the wedding in Cana, we will notice that that was almost the same word that we heard during the transfiguration of Jesus when we heard the Father of Jesus speak to us about his beloved son. And he said, This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. What do you do to him? Listen to him. And what did Mary say during the wedding at Cana? He said, she said, do whatever he tells you. Do whatever he tells you. This is the request of the Father, and this is also the request of the Blessed Virgin Mary, in whom we should be all devoted. Because if Mary, of all women, has been chosen by the Father, to be the mother of her son and our mother, so should we. And this, I guess, gives us a hope. Why? Just like the Blessed Virgin Mary, who is now enjoying everything through the marriage of her son, the same. We should pray that one day we will be with her as well as with her son. And I guess the gospel for this evening is a repetition of what the Father is asking in what the Blessed Virgin Mary is asking when Jesus said, Blessed indeed are those who hear the word of God and do them. May God bless us. Let us now make our profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten at made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen.
confident in the intercession of Mary and the faithfulness of the Father, let us turn to him with our petitions. Our response will be, hear us, O Lord, that all members of the church may find in Mary a model of humility and discipleship. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear, Hear us, O Lord. Lord. For those who lead cities, states, and countries, may they acknowledge that Christ is the true sovereign and reigns over all, so that all laws will bear witness to his truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. That those who are pregnant and alone, may they know the love, support, care, and concern of this faith community. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. That those who suffer any illness in mind or body, may they know the healing presence of Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, yes, o, o Lord. Lord. For the abundance of vocations to the priesthood and consecrated life, let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. For those in the military who put themselves in harm's way to protect and defend the helpless and innocent, and for victims of violence and oppression, let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Hear us O Lord. Lord. For our dearly departed, including Irene and Luther Ickes, may they enjoy everlasting peace and eternal happiness with all the angels and saints in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, O Lord. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers of your humble servants and answer them if it will be your will. May we be strengthened this day to do your will and to give you praise so that we might reign with you one day in heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. As we present our gifts, please join in singing hymn number 417, Sing of Mary, number 417.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, to humble himself, to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear friends, that this, our sacrifice, may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, which we celebrate on the assumption of the Holy Mother of God, that it may lead us to your pardon and confirm us in perpetual thanksgiving through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For today, the Virgin Mother of God was assumed into heaven as the beginning and image of your church coming to perfection and a sign of your hope and comfort to your pilgrim people. Rightly, you would not allow her to see the corruption of the tomb, since from her own body she marvelously brought forth your incarnate Son, the author of all life. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and we joy, we proclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. And resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of your Son, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Lawrence, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that will the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Jesus.
Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Having partaken of this heavenly table, we beseech your mercy, Lord our God, that we who honor the assumption of the Mother of God may be freed from every threat of harm through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Please join us singing our closing hymn number 419. Hail Holy Queen number 419. Praises blow.